Hello guys, Dale here again. Welcome to my channel, Level Loud and Sharp. So if you guys are on any of the EDC uh, forums on Facebook, stuff like that, you'll see a common thread going around, which is uh, funky little multi-tools going around, right? A lot of different companies are making their own uh, variations, their own versions of it. And they're sweeping the market by storm. You know, they, they demand a high uh, premium. You know, there's some going for 400 US, some going for 500 US, some as low as, you know, 50, 60 US, right? And uh, they're selling out. They're selling out fast. So when us, uh, you know, when most people think about a multi-tool, they think about a Leatherman, they think about Swiss Army. So, you know, like a, uh, the Swiss Army cyber tool I have here, or my... Uh, Leatherman Juice, right, or my uh, Leatherman Surge. The, when people think about multi-tools, this is what they think about, you know, these kinds of things. So when these, uh, when I first, you know, really heard of uh, these kind of um, custom, uh, custom multi-tools, I was like, wow, right? So the first one I ever saw was this little guy. This is uh, a wrap tool. Right, so he has the O2 wrench, he has a hex driver, bottle opener, uh, open box wrench, you know. And I'm gonna do be I'm gonna be doing separate uh, reviews on each one of these. But the first one I was introduced to is this one, which is the wrap tool, right? And I was like, wow, you know, this is a multi tool just like that. It might not have all the options, you know, Leatherman or Swiss Army has, but. This is okay for me for, you know, EDC, everyday care, you know. Most of what I use, will use for is a, a hex driver, maybe an open box wrench. Tighten uh, the bolt on uh, one of my knives, you know, bottle opener, open up a brew after a long day of work. So I saw this one, I was like, wow, right? I picked it up. And that's where the addiction started, right? Then came my Chultu. So if any of uh, if any of you guys are a fan of HP Lovecraft, you guys will know who Cholto is. And next came my Cholto. You know, again, hex driver, bottle opener, all the goodies, right? Uh, flathead screwdriver slash pry bar, all the goodies, right? After Cholto, right, came my Honey Badger, right? <laughs> it's an addiction, guys. Next came Honey Badger. Again, hex driver, bottle opener, all the goodies, right? And after uh, my Honey Badger came my latest edition, came actually last week, my Jurassic Croc. And this Jurassic Croc, limited edition, right, has the black Cerakote with the blood splotches, right? Again, hex driver, uh, open box wrench. You got a flat, uh, you got a pry bar. You got uh, all the goodies, you know, it came the Jurassic Croc. So, this opened up a whole new world to me, guys, you know, these custom multi-tools, right? And the prices range, again, from uh, $50 US all the way to, you know, $400, $500. You know, you'll find Moby Whalers going for $450, depending on the material it's made out of, depending on the... the uh, the finish, maybe it's a Damascus steel, maybe it has a raindrop pattern, you know, going upwards of 500 US. So I just wanted to show some of you guys, you know, in the EDC community who hasn't seen some of these, you know, this is what's uh, going on, guys, you know. I'm going to be doing separate reviews on each one of these at uh, one point, you know. If you want to review on one of my other multi tools, let me know. But these things are wicked, you know, they catch eyes, you know. When I need to open a bottle, uh, uh, when I need to open a bottle of beer at a friend's house or whatever, I whip this guy out. It's a conversation starter, you know. Uh, hey, that's a cool bottle opener. Tell me about it. And when you tell him, hey, it has more than one uh, purpose, more than a bottle opener, open box wrench, O2 wrench, hex driver. But they're like, wow, you know, what a cool way to have a multi-tool. Because until now, right, until real recently, this was, this was a multi-tool in my mind, you know. A Leatherman, you know. A cyber tool, a sack cyber tool. This is what I, when I thought about uh, multi tools, this is what I thought of. And uh, recently, you know, Leatherman released their Piranha, right? Which kind of mimics these guys, not to the 
not to the level of these guys, but kind of looks like a piranha. You know, you see the fin here, the mouth here. It has closed box wrench, open box wrench, bottle opener. It has a hex wrench, a hex driver, and it has a driver for the Leatherman bits, right? If you have a collection of the Leatherman bits, you can use that pry bar on this end. But this guy's a cool little guy, right? This little guy, I think it's about $40 Canadian, right? Nowhere as near as some of these guys, right? But you have to really think about the different work that goes into some of these guys versus compared to this. You know, this, his uh, his stripes was hand ground in, you know, hand ground. This was all handmade, right? Hand ground in. Yeah, it takes another while to get the finish done, you know. Uh, Jurassic Croc, you know, the coat that goes into it and the work and the design, right? So you, you're going to be paying a pretty penny, but these are really cool, right? So if you guys want to check them out, you know, uh, this is this is what's going on that I found, right? These cool little multi-tools. So if you have any question on any one of these, let me know, right? And once again, guys, uh, oh, let me do a quick... Uh, what knife am I uh, carrying today? It's my Zero Tolerance 300 Black Wash. Right? One of my favorite little guys right there. So again, guys, thank you for watching my videos. You know, if you like, please like and subscribe. And once again, Dale out. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.